Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually calibrate your Ecobee thermostat, both the temperature and humidity sensors. Plus, we'll talk about what to do if your Ecobee gets stuck in continuous calibration mode and how to fix it. First, let's tackle the temperature calibration. It's really straightforward. Here's how. Open the main menu on your Ecobee thermostat. Go to Settings. Find Installation Settings. Tap Thresholds and select Temperature Correction. Adjust the temperature to match the actual room temperature. That's it for the temperature. Wait a few minutes and your thermostat will show the corrected temperature. For humidity calibration, the process is exactly the same. Just choose Humidity Correction, adjust it to your preference, and wait for it to update. Now, about continuous calibration. As I mentioned earlier, continuous calibration can be incredibly frustrating, especially during the winter when your home needs consistent heating. While there are some issues only a professional can fix, I'll focus on the common causes and solutions that you can handle yourself as a homeowner. Why continuous calibration happens. Wi-Fi signal. Weak signals can cause the thermostat to keep recalibrating. Check your sensor's location and ensure the Wi-Fi signal is strong, if the issue is still there. Check excess air. If there's an open hole behind the thermostat, air might be affecting the sensors. You can plug it with plumber's putty to insulate it better. Next, check your air filter. An old dirty filter can cause problems. Just replace it, and that might solve the issue. In the last, adjust the thermostat settings. Go into installation settings. Equipment. Furnace fan control in heat mode and make sure HVAC is selected. These steps might solve the issue without needing professional help. While some suggest checking the wiring behind the thermostat, I recommend only doing that if you're confident. If not, it's best to leave that to the experts. I hope these tips help get your Ecobee running smoothly again. Thanks for watching.